When Christ said traditions of men and called out the Pharisees, what was he referring to exactly? All traditions, the Pharisee traditions, and why are they done away with? Thank you. So obviously throughout uh, the Old Testament, and, and, and certainly you can see this now uh, after the Jews uh, in the time of Christ, uh, those who, I should say, did not receive the Messiah, did not accept Christ, and uh, were thrown out of Jerusalem after the destruction of Jerusalem, and then you know began to develop the Talmud and the, writing down all the traditions of the fathers. There was a lot there that was um, either foreign that crept in it was contrary to any revelation or it was just the opinions of men that they 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 hardened and made into rules that had not been uh given by and revealed by god in the old testament you know the lord when he spoke so harshly put that away now i think when the lord spoke so harshly to the pharisees and said that they were the sons of the enemy of our salvation and that he was their 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 master i mean that was not that was not figurative he was literally telling them that he knew that they had gone over to the to the en enemy and the other side and they had they're working against him and salvation and there's a lot of speculation on what that means but i think there's a lot of evidence to say that there was a portion of the people of God who fell away during the Babylonian captivity, adopted pagan idol worshiping ways, kept those when they came back to the to the city of Jerusalem, and never really abandoned them until the time of Christ. And so the the Lord is talking about things that were never inspired by Him that had been adopted by some of the people, and of course that led to their rejection of the Messiah. Right? The, the rejection of the Messiah is not, there's no way to understand it properly by the Pharisees and others who are rejecting him, except that they had long ago, and this is how it is in the spiritual life. Like, why are we, they had long ago abandoned the God of Israel, right? And they were no longer serving him. And so it's the same in our day. Like, why are we seeing insanity around the world? Why are we saying people don't know if they're men or women? All this is a fruit of long ago apostasy, going back, 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 right? A thousand years. It's a long disintegration, a thousand years. And now we're at total absurdity and sanity. It definitely has to do with the apostasy of Christians from Christ in previous generations going back hundreds and thousands and a thousand years. So the same thing was happening in the time of Christ. So when he's talking to these leaders, he's not talking about uh, holy tradition that's passed on from word, word of mouth to word of mouth, which is definitely a big part of how people have always understood and lived the truth of the gospel, right? Paul says clearly, there is by word of mouth and by written he's, the tradition he's passing on to them. So it's very simple. It's like, this is not hard to understand. Paradosi in Greek, the passing on from one to another. That's the core of everything. That's the experience. Not, not enough for something to be written down. You have to have the experience passed on. You have to have the, the, the living example of what those scriptures mean. And how to unpack them. The living example, there's a continuity, and it was never lost. And that existed in Israel among the remnant, among the elect, and it exists today in the church. And there are, of course, those who are either in apostasy or leaving the church, always. Every generation has them. Every generation has bishops and priests and theologians who are on their way out or out. I mean, we had Judas. It never ceased to have Judases in every generation. Where do we get all the heresies? <laughs> From inside. Arius was a priest of the church, right? Paul Samosato, or Nestorius was a bishop of the church. Uh, Macedonius was a bishop of the church, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These, so always in the old and the new testaments, in the old people of God and the new people of God, there's always a remnant and there's always those who are in apostasy. Now, then there are those who walk away and entirely are alienated. Those are the heresies, the heretics, the various heterodox confessions who never or never even were a part of the church. They walked away. Uh, they were they were led astray earlier, and then they developed their own way uh, years after the departure of their fore forefathers. So all of that explains the tradition of men. It's not referring to revelation. It's not referring to the elect and the core that had passed on from generation to generation, the experience and the faith of 
the people of God, but it's referring to those who had already departed. I'm still 